and welcome back to another Windows 8 tutorial. So many of us are very familiar with the new Metro UI start screen in Windows 8 and its live tiles. This new feature of Windows 8 really looks great. If you are using Windows 8, then you'll probably find that if you're changing your screen resolution, then it'll automatically result in change in regards to the Windows 8 start tile rows. For instance, if your computer is running Windows 8 with a screen resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels, then the start screen resolution in the Metro apps are displayed in four rows. But what do you do when your screen resolution is low or if you just have your own preference towards the start menu? Don't worry because I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a small registry tweak by which you can easily increase the number of rows in Windows 8 Metro UI start screen. And just to note, by default, Windows 8 automatically detects what your current screen resolution is. And then it automatically sets how many rows will be for the apps and other pin items on the start screen of the Metro UI interface based on the screen resolution size. This is usually only up to three to five rows by default. For example, if you have a 1920 by 1080 p screen resolution, then you would have five rows by default. You can either reduce the number of rows to a minimum of one row or increase it up to a maximum of six rows for the screen resolution size. The table I'll mention later will give you a default and maximum number of app rows you can set for these screen resolutions. All screen resolutions can only be a minimum of one app's row. So let's get started on how to increase or decrease the number of rows in Windows 8 Metro UI start menu. And so if you're already in your desktop, go ahead and go there. If not, just go ahead and press desktop. And what you want to do on your keyboard is you want to go ahead and hit the keyboard on the Windows icon and press R for run and type in reg edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Let that open. And the next thing that you're going to do is you want to go to a directory that I have presented right here. And you're going to go and click on each current user, which is here. Go ahead and drop that down. Go to the software tab, drop that down as well. Then go down to Microsoft, drop that down as well. And by chance, if you guys see me going fast, just make sure you pause the video just in case. Um, down to the Windows tab, let's go ahead and click on that, then drop it down. To the current version, drop that down as well. And down to the immersive shell wherever that might be, right here, drop that down as well, and click on Grid. Now, if you have the layout maximum row count, all you have to do is change it either up to one to five, depending on the screen resolution, and just go back on the screen resolution choices. This is the only options that you have right here. If you have an 800 by 600, you only have a maximum of three, a minimum of one, and Etc. If by chance you have anything over 1280 by 1024, you either have a max of six and by default five. So um, all in all, that being said, let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and change them up. Right now, if you guys noticed on mine, I have three rows. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to four. Now back onto the layout maximum row count. If you do not have that, just so you know, all you have to do is just right click that on the white space, go under new, and then go to D word 32 bit value. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and type it in as what I have it as. So layout underscore, which is by the zero, press shift then underscore max minimum row count. And then go ahead and off to the side, click there and then you should be set. Next thing, when you have it, the layout maximum row count, you wanna go ahead and right click on it, you wanna modify it, and then pick the number of rows that you wanna go ahead and have. So for instance, I have it at three, I'm gonna go ahead and put it at four, so I'll have four rows, because my screen resolution is maxed at four rows. So I'm gonna go ahead and press OK. What happens after that is you wanna go ahead and exit the registry editor by file, pressing exit, restarting your computer, and you should have the number of rows that you've inputted. I'll go ahead and restart my computer and we'll see what comes up. All right, hang on. Okay, welcome back. So 
I've actually just restarted my computer recently and we're going to go ahead and show you the result by me pressing the Windows key and going into the Start Metro UI interface and seeing the result. And as you guys can see, I have four rows opposed to the three that I had by default. And just so you guys know, this does work as the proof I am showing you guys. So if you guys have any comments or questions, let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video. And uh, stay tuned for another video. And I believe my next video will be a themed video. All right, take care, guys.